Got a Honda in the shop and some brake lights aren't working. Hopefully it's just a bulb. Well, let's check it out, see if we can't get it fixed. This is what we're working on today, a 2009 Honda Civic LX. The complaint on this vehicle is the right tail light isn't working. I don't have an assistant today, so we'll just use this tool to activate the brake lights. All right, looks like the brake lights are on. Let's go check it out. And hopefully you can tell that one's on. And this one isn't. So at least we have that one out. And it looks like our center light is not working too. So we got two out of three bulbs out. So let's see what we can do. We can get to this center one pretty easy. So let's check that one out first. All right, from right underneath here, right there is our bulb. We can just turn it like that and pull it out. And we'll just pop that out and we'll do a quick test with another bulb. Now, we could use a standard test light to test this circuit, but I have the actual bulbs, which in this case, for this one right here, it's a 7440. Seeing as we have it right here, let's just go ahead and pop a new bulb in and see what happens. So to take these out, we could unplug it. Like in that case, we could unplug this like that. And then the bulb just kind of pops out right there. So we'll put a brand new one in, just snaps in place. We'll plug it back in and we'll go hit the brakes and see if it comes on. Anytime I'm installing new bulbs, I like to wear gloves. That way the oil from my fingers doesn't get on the new bulb. All right, I got the brake pedal depressed and well, it's a little bright, but you can see it's all lit up now. So that one was just a bad bulb. And to reinstall it, we just got to make sure it's in the correct orientation. We just put it in there and just turn it a little bit to snap it in. And hopefully you can see the difference between our blown out one and the new one. This one's definitely blown out. Now, let's check out this brake light. Now, if we look here, there's a bulb right there. That's going to be our brake light and the marker light. This is going to be our reverse light. This will be our turn signal light. So this is the one we got to check. And if we look back here, sometimes Hondas will have a little access panel right here. This model does not have it, so we're going to have to pull this back in order to access our bulb in there. So to remove this cover, we're going to have to pull this clip right here and this one right there. After we pull those two, we should be able to get back there. And to get them off, usually we can just use a flathead screwdriver and we just turn this center part. And if it's not too old and too bad off, we can just kind of spin it out like that and then the center part will come out and then this part will come out too now we can probably just leave it there and when we pull this back it'll pop out usually I'll just try to pop it out like that if it wants to stay in there like this one we can just leave it we can just do the same thing with this one over here and same thing will it pop out easy I think this one's going to come out easy. No, maybe not. Yeah, so that's what it looks like right there. And then we can try to pop this one out. Okay, it came out easy. If they don't come out easy, a lot of times once you remove that center piece, you can just pull this out and it'll come with it. But uh, sometimes when you do that, take a chance on breaking it. We don't want to break these clips and have to replace them. Now, we should be able to pull this weather stripping back just a little bit, just like that. And then we can just reach in here, kind of grab this carpet, and pull it back. And now we have access. And looking in here, this top one, this is going to be our brake light, the one we're going to look at. All we have to do is just turn it like that, and then we can pop it out. And this is the same thing. If we want to disconnect it, we can just press that, and we can disconnect this piece right here. But there's our bulb, just like that. And yeah, hopefully you can see it. Uh, this is broken a little bit. We'll have to make sure that that uh, bulb stays in. But we'll do the same test. We'll grab a new bulb and uh, we'll test it out and see if this one works. Now typically I'll just pull the bulb right there and uh, install a new one. But I'll go ahead and disconnect it just so you can get a little bit better view. But there's our socket right there and we can just pull it apart. And that seemed to really snap in there good. So I think we'll be okay even though that's broken. Obviously, if it's too far gone, we have to replace this piece, but I think we'll be okay. And uh, we'll do the same thing. We could get a test light, 
but it's just as easy to grab the bulb because I keep these in stock. This is a 7443. Here, let me show you. So there they are. There's your part number for this. This is a 7443, so don't get confused. The other one is a 7440. These are 7443s. That just means they have a dual element in there where the other one has a single element. But we'll pop this one in, and then uh, we'll do another test. And I don't know. Taking a look inside here, I can see that this piece right here is bent. Compared to that one over there, this is definitely bent. And I don't know if you can see inside there, but this terminal is definitely cockeyed. That might be our problem. This, uh, this piece right here may be bad. So definitely, I think I'm going to have to replace this. You probably can't tell because the bulb is so dark in there, but there are two elements and I can clearly see that the bottom element is completely blown out. It's gone. So for sure this bulb is bad, but I have, I believe that this socket is bad too and we're going to need to get another one of these in order to fix this car. We can check it and I guess I'll sacrifice this bulb in case it is messed up. See, yeah, this one doesn't seem to hold in there as well. Well, let's step on the brakes, see what this one does. Well, it works. All three are on. But I do believe the real fix is replacing that socket. Alright, I pulled it back out. I could leave this in and we could limp this car along, but we want to fix this thing permanently. So I'm going to see if I can find a new one of these. Ran down to the auto parts store. Luckily, they had one in stock. So there you go. Made by Dorman Tech Choice. There's your part number. Made in Taiwan. Let's check it out, make sure it looks the same. All right, here's our old broken one. This one is made by Stanley. I can see it written in there. And here is our brand new Dorman one. And everything looks good. I can clearly see that that middle pin is bent over, so I'm happy to be replacing this. And of course, it's broken right there. And I can see that the pins in there are more pronounced. These are definitely flattened out. So that, I'm sure that was a big problem and that may have been causing our light not to come on. So this will definitely allow us to get it fixed. And if we look, all the mounting points, everything looks exact. All right, I'll bring this over here and make sure it snaps into place. That feels good. We'll grab our new bulb. The 7443, snap that in place. Okay, we'll do a final test. I'm pressing the brake. Is it lit up? Let me know. Looks like the new bulb and socket are working. Let's get this thing buttoned up. And to reinstall it, we're going to do just the opposite of taking it out. We're just going to put it in like that and then snap it in place. And this new one will probably be a little tighter to snap in. Eh, not too bad. All right, looks good. Because two out of the three bulbs were bad, I went ahead and replaced this one so it's brand new. Here's the old one, and you can see it doesn't look like it was long for this world anyway. Final check of the brake lights. That one's working. That one's working. And that one's working. Let's do a quick check of the marker lights. That one's working over here. That one and that one are working. That one and that one are working. Oh, looks like this one's out. We missed that one. All right, I went ahead and unplugged this one. Now we'll see if we can twist it and get it out. There it is. Uh, this one, probably a blown bulb too. Let's verify. Okay, to get this one out, it's just like the others. We just pull it out of the socket. This should be a 194. I'm pretty sure I have these in stock also. And it is a 194, and I have one left. Looks like I'm going to have to go buy some more. But same thing as before. All we have to do, snap it in place, and then we just twist it in, and then we can plug it in, just like the others. All right, I got it set in place. So we should just be able to twist it, snap it in place, and plug it in. Come on. I can't see with you guys in the way. New side marker is installed, and we'll go double check and make sure it works. 
with the marker lights on looks like we're good to go now that one's working of course those are working and all these are still working and we're gonna double check with the brake lights on you can see that one's much brighter so our brake lights working with the marker lights on same thing with this one and of course our center lights working so make sure that one's still working yep so now we're good to go all brake lights and marker lights are good to go well seeing as we're here let's make sure the rest of the lights work looks like our reverse light and turn signal on that side are working and both working over here too I think all the lights are good to go on the rear now okay let's get this button back up typically what I like to do is pull this weather strip back just a little bit that way it we can get this lined up pretty easy you can see that the holes are lined up perfect there and let's see pretty good right there so now we just need this piece right here we'll just pop that in we'll grab the other one and we'll pop that in right there and we'll grab the center piece and you could use a screwdriver to put it back in but these are designed just to push in we'll grab the other one push that in and then we'll get this weather stripping back in place and obviously it just rides this carpet rides in this channel right here so we just want to make sure that it goes in properly and it looks like we're good to go three bad bulbs and a bad socket but not too bad of a job and as always if the video helped you out you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching